I'm going to do a quick demonstration of the pinhole cast on for knitting. Um, if you have any experience with the magic loop method for crochet, it works kind of in the same way. Uh, just a slight modification so you can use it for your circular knitting projects. Uh, I like to start it off with a crochet hook um, and then transfer the stitches onto some knitting needles, but you can do it with just some uh, double pointed needles. Just a matter of your preference. Anyway, let's get it started. Um, you start off, wrap the yarn around your hand. Let's see if I can get into better focus here. And I'm going to take the hook, go under the yarn, grab, pull it through, then grab again, and pull it through one more time. And that's your first stitch. And you'll just repeat that for however many stitches you want uh, for your cast on. So to make the second stitch, I'll go under again, grab my yarn, pull it through, go back, grab my yarn, pull it through again. That's two stitches. I'll do six total. Go under, grab, pull it through, and grab. pull it through. And I find it's easier to just work all the stitches that I want on the crochet hook and then transfer them all at once versus transferring them to knitting needles as I go. Alright, so there's my six stitches. I'm going to just grab a knitting needle here and transfer them over. And since I'm going to be knitting in the round, I'll need to use more than just one. So I'll use three double pointed needles and have two stitches to a needle. There we go. And the nice thing about this method is I can just grab that yarn end and pull it and it will tighten up the center so I'll have a nice clean start to the fabric and then I'll just start my knitting project as I would with any other cast on method.